And we're live! Hi everybody! Uh, oh boy, I'm actually nervous. Um, first of all, um, thank you to uh, Sir Ryan Kayabyab and Trina Belamide for starting this, for getting all of these incredible artists to, to be a part of Bayanihan Musikahan. Um, given who has been performing all throughout this day, uh, that's also another reason why I'm nervous. I watched Rachel Herodias and uh, Byung In Park and hey, mga halimaw. So I made sure I warmed up and took shower and had my dinner and now I'm here and I'm so excited. So you know what, I'm just gonna start. And since, since Ryan Kayabyab was the, hi Arman, and since Ryan Kayabyab, um was the one who sounded the alarm for Bayanihan Musikahan. It feels appropriate to start with um, with one of his songs. And I'm, full disclosure, I'll be ending with one of his. But this one, uh, orchestration and arrangement, and minus one, are by Gerard Salonga. So thanks, Gerard, for this one. Okay, let us begin. <laughs> orchestration and arrangement and of course the minus one by one of his former students Gerard Salonga who happens to be uh, currently far far away from home he's in uh, Kuala Lumpur so I'm hoping that he's that he's being able to watch all of these incredible artists um, hi to everybody who's watching I can see some of the comments um, hi from hi Edward uh, hi Yvette 
and to the, I, I know that I have a gang here called the Gin Group and uh, the shout out to you. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, we're gonna be drinking tomorrow. Anyway, the next one is, the next song is from a show that I did on Broadway a few years ago called Allegiance. And the story of this is that in World War II, over 120,000 Japanese Americans um, were placed in internment camps um, just for being of Japanese descent. This was following um, the attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941. Um, there is a song, and thanks to J. Kuo for, um, for allowing me to sing this one. Um, it's called Gaman. And how, what, what Gaman is, it's a Zen Buddhist term for endurance with optimism, patience, and dignity. And I feel like in this time, this is something that I think all of us are being called to do. Um, in each of our ways, we are each being called to endure this with, um, with dignity, with patience, and with optimism that there will be a light at the end of this this tunnel. I think we just have to keep our eye on the light at the end. Um, so I will get to it and we have some announcements also coming from the Bayanihan Musikahan team which I will share with all of you later but let's 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 do a little bit of music first before I get to all of the paperwork that I will have to share. But yeah here is here's Gaman.
thank you. Um, that was Gaman from the Broadway musical Allegiance. And those lyrics, it's kind of a hybrid of a few different versions. Um, but this is one version that I actually got to sing at a fundraiser in Hawaii, um, where I got to sing it with um, the magnificent Tally Liam. Um, and yeah, this is a musical that's close to my heart. And I was so privileged to get to perform this with George Takei and um, a bunch of incredibly talented Asian and Asian American Broadway performers, singers, dancers, actors, all of whom I think we all felt this camaraderie and kinship, just, just being together, um, being able to do a show like this. So, oh, oh my. Right now we've raised, um, thanks to the donate button at the somewhere in the bottom of our screen, we have raised so far, um, just in this stream, over 113,000 pesos. That's amazing. Um, thank you all so very much for your generosity. Um, of course, it needs not be said that um, donating is, is optional. It's only if you're able to. Um... Oh, finally, my brother's here. Uh, you missed, you missed Naisko. Oh, well, that's all right. You've, you've heard me sing it enough times, so that's fine. But glad that you're here. Um, over 121,000 now. Okay, this this number is this number is gonna go up over the next. So I'll I'll, I'll do a recap of all of these amounts, and I'm gonna do a, another recap because there's there's something that um, Trina sent me, and it's it's a really exciting exciting number. Okay, so um, I didn't I don't know who is actually here, save for the, the people that I have seen. But um, I also have my iPad and I've got some friends who are also like here. And it looks like, looks like one of my friends, one of my very handsome friends is watching tonight. You know who you are. And it's kind of, um, it's kind of timely that you showed up because of the next couple of songs that I'm about to do. I'm gonna do them one right after the other. Now I'll do them with a break because I need to drink water. Um, but I think you'll all recognize these ones once, once the intros start to play. But something fun.
Yvette, Aga is actually watching this stream. So to Hopia Nation currently watching this, um, yeah, we're, we're actually both here. Okay, um, I'm gonna do, since we're in the, kind of in the middle of this, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this one because I think it's important for us to share exactly why we are here and what all of us collectively, since Bayanihan Musikan started, what we've all been able to do. So um, Bayanihan Musikahan is delighted to announce that the total amount raised as of 5 p.m. today, yeah, the amounts that came after that came for the streams today, hindi pa muna isasale, they're not part of that yet. But as of 5 p.m. today, 22,373,176 pesos and 60 centavos. That's a lot of money! So thank you to all of the individuals who contributed to this fund. Um, however little or however plenty you gave, thank you very, very much. Maraming salamat po. Um, because this is going to help um, and protect um, the most vulnerable of us um, in Metro Manila. And wow, taong bayan power talaga. And we, I think all of us should be amazed at what all of us can do when we put our pull our resources together. Um, we also wish to acknowledge the donation of Accenture Inc. and Accenture Foundation Inc. Thank you very, very much. Um, the grant that these companies gave to Bayanihan Musikahan will aid 1,800 families who will be provided with food and vegetable packs through Samahan ng Nagkaka Isang Pamilya ng Pantawid or SNPP. It will provide 2,600 frontliners with personal protective equipment. Accenture also launched an employee payroll giving campaign running until mid-April. Again, the proceeds of this campaign will benefit frontliners and vulnerable communities. So, kahit maliliit yung mga naging donasyon, I don't think there is such a thing actually as a maliit or small donation it's every, every one thing i think all of us have to realize now we have to think that even the smallest effort um will be of huge assistance um because there is nothing there's no such thing as too small of a contribution or a donation because when you pool all of these resources together it's it becomes one whole big thing and and so many people will be able to get the help that they need, the protection that they need. That's ugh, my my mind is still kind of blown. That's twenty two million pesos since since Bayanihan began, and that's a lot of artists so far that have been a part of this, uh, including some of the greatest. I mean, Martin Yavera has done it. You save your request for another time, Arman. Um, but yeah, I mean, if, if there's request for another bunch, I think, I think I'm gonna have to do another one of these. Um, just because it's fun, and I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, the one thing that, that kind of happened once the quarantine was called, and that's for a, a lot of us performers, most especially those who are freelancers that live from talent fee to talent fee, all of a sudden, means of livelihood are gone. Um, and for me personally, I, I've, I find that being able to sing um, for an audience of one or a hundred or a thousand, it's somehow integral to my um, mental health, I guess. I've, I found during, um, I was thinking about this today, during Ta'al, when there were a lot of um, there were a lot of things that were canceled as well in January and at the beginning of February because it just felt out of tune or off key to have a celebration while a lot of people were suffering and I tended to agree. Um, however, 
if I go through an extended period of time without me doing what this is that I love the most, whether it's doing theater or a live gig or anything like that, um, it, it messes with my head. And when I, when I don't have an outlet, I guess, a creative artistic outlet, it kind of drives me nuts. I think Rachel Herodias touched on that during her Bayanihan earlier tonight and, and she got emotional. Um, so this, this, I might get emotional. So yes, we are helping and, and we're, we're sounding the alarm for people to donate and to give, but Mr. C, this, hi, okay. You have no idea how many of us are getting helped also. And it's, it's, it probably looks to a bunch of you like it's kind of OA. That why, why is she of all people crying about this? Um, you know, and it's, it's not about money. It's not about, it's not about what we get to earn. A lot of the day, it's not, it's not you know, it's not that. It's, it's when we're able to exercise and express and, and you know, and, and share what God-given talent we have. It's, it, it kind of gives us this internal equilibrium. And I, I think a lot of artists will hope, I, if you agree, then, then please say so in the comments. Um, this, this, being able to sing, being able to do this, it's, it's just been for, for oh my, 20,000 people. <laughs> Feels like I'm in, in an arena at the moment, given how many people are watching. Um, it's, it's, just, it's been important. It's, it's, it's great that all of us have been given an avenue and uh, a place to play and share what we do. Um, because not having been able to do it in the way that we've gotten used to or have been accustomed to, it's, it's hard. It, it is hard. Um, so I'm thankful. Um, hi, Rochelle. Um, galing nyo kanina, grabe, halimaw kayo talaga. Um, so yeah, so this, this has been, ah, this has been, an, this has just been an incredible release of emotion, of, of uh, pent up energy. It's, it's, so this is making, I mean, times like this don't make me happy, but I'm just, I'm just grateful that we kind of have this. If we don't, you know, that we have this, we're able to sing, we're able to perform and express ourselves and be able to help other people. Um, I did a live stream a few days ago and sang a couple of songs for a stream called uh, Stars in the House. And the doctor who was there said that, you know, I, I think I said something to the effect of, we, we, I don't know if, our, if we contribute enough or if we do, do anything or if, if whatever we have to do as artists get to help. And he said, no, you guys are actually healing just in another, just in another way. So if we're also able to help the frontliners with even just keeping a glimmer of sanity with the songs we get to sing, um, if we're able to make you smile for five seconds, um, then you know what? Then all of this is, is it, it, thank you, and you're welcome. And ha, huh, and we, oh, we've raised over 439,000 pesos so far. And I'm actually only halfway through my stream. I'm gonna be here for around a little less than an hour, um, unless I start talking again, but yeah, so Mr. C, Trina, um, thank you again. You, you gave a lot of very grateful artists a place to sing. And yeah, I'll gladly do this again with a different selection of songs. And if it means I have to chase down a whole bunch of different people for permissions and whatever, then they'll do what I gotta do. And uh, yeah. So I think I've talked enough for this break. A few writers from the voice teens are also here with us in the stream. Hi, Mac. Hi, Waldo. And hi, Sess. Um, yeah, and, and 
Bukhanam and we're gonna have to finish this season via Zoom, huh? Because this is nuts. Um, yeah, and I, I feel bad for my teens, but if any of them happens to be watching, oh my God, all nine of you are just ridiculous. I saw your videos today, finally, and um, wow, I feel so proud. Um, and, and for those of you who could have chosen another coach, I'm glad you chose me. Um, Hi, Tita GR. Yeah, I could go over an hour, but the problem is I don't know that I have enough minus ones to support an hour um, because I also have um, rights and licensing and yada, yada, yada that I have to also be mindful of. Um, so, okay na to for, okay na to for now. Um, I actually have quite a few songs left. So, I had just finished Bakit Labis Kitang Mahal. And I guess there was clamor to do another movie with this very handsome man. Um, and it turned out to, I think, be the even bigger hit. Um, and I, 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 remember, I remember the process of shooting this movie. And for a while, we actually had to kind of yeah, I think there was a time that we were our own makeup artists, uh, gophers, uh, wardrobe people. We helped with everybody kind of had to pull their weight around while we were in America doing this movie. Um, things got easier when we were able to come home to shoot. Um, but I, I, I will remember this experience as being one of the hardest things I've ever had to do but also one of the most um, gratifying and one of the most fulfilling experiences I've ever, I've ever had. Um, and I mean, come on, to be able to look at your face every day, it's like, Jesus, suerte lang. I was just a very lucky woman. So in tribute of that, and for the fans of this movie, Here's Adam Ulit Muli.
Thank you. I'm gonna to have to look at those later. We have raised over 580. Oh my, 588,000 pesos thus far in the last 36 minutes. That's that's pretty cool. That's that's amazing. Thank you all. Thank you all very 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 much. Ah, okay. Um, this next one is special to to my heart, actually, and uh, this this is kind of like, um, these next two songs are specifically more for frontliners. This first one I've been doing in concert for quite a bit, and um, I introduce it, this is how I normally introduce it in, in a show. Um, this song comes from um, the Broadway production of Once on This Island, and it was the last Broadway show that I did. But no, 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 that's, that's, erase, erase, erase. Let me do this one more time. Um, this comes from the Tony Award winning um, revival production of Hydrus of Once on This Island. Um, and it's, it's, it's a production that, of course, it made us so excited when we won the Tony and a, a, a screaming busload of people could be heard in New York City. Um, I think uh, on our way back to the theater after our performance. Um, but I was a little skeptical about my participation in, in that. Because if, who here has done Once on this Island? I think there's a bunch of people here that have done it, whether in your high school or in, in a production for, um, like for your summer, like summer theater, community theater, something, something. It's a well-known show and it's, yeah, Yes Cliff, most recent, uh, my most recent show. Um, and I was skeptical because we, we know that actors normally are gonna get, the, the actors that are normally gonna get cast in Once on this Island are gonna be um, of African or African American descent and clearly I am not I, I even went on to ancestry DNA to check if there was even a, a smidge and no there, there there wasn't so when Michael Arden our director called me and asked me to be his Urzuli um, and even though I said yes I, I didn't know how he was going to justify my participation in the show. I, I, how are you going to justify the presence of this Filipina actor in a cast of other, you know, that, that is otherwise African or African American? On the first day of, of our rehearsal process, after saying hi to a bunch of my friends in the cast and saying hello to people and putting my stuff down, I headed to where the costume sketches were posted and plastered on one of the walls. Um, our costume designer is Tony Award winner, uh, Clint Ramos. And um, so I went to the costumes and then I saw my costume and then I realized, you guys are genius. You figured out exactly how to justify my presence in this show. My costume was nurse, Filipino nurse. I mean, yes, it perpetuates a stereotype, you know, but there are, I don't know how many, how many hundreds of thousands of Filipino nurses now in this crisis, how many of our nurses are actually in hospitals in Italy 
in the United States, in the UK, in Spain, um, all over the world. So our brand of care and compassion and, and warmth are being, are being shared um, by frontliners, by these particular frontliners everywhere. Um, so to all of the frontliners who are watching, um, or those of you who are serving, thank you, truly. And I think there's an entire world that thanks you for your service and your kindness and your compassion and um, for the love and the professionalism and for all of those wonderful things that you share with all of your patients and everyone that you care for. Um, so you are also representing our country and our countrymen by doing the absolute most amazing jobs you can. Um, in the eyes of your patients, you are all gods and goddesses. And so from this one time goddess of love, allow me to, allow me to do this one. And God, I hope I'm in the right key. And if I'm not, that's okay.
that's from the 2017, 2018? I don't even know anymore. It just felt like so long ago now, um, that production. Um, but it was such a, what an incredible company, what an incredible group of, of performers. And I'm just astonished by the level of talent in that cast, like every day. It, it, was, it was just me backstage going, are you kidding me right now with these voices? I just felt extremely grateful and fortunate. Um, so this one is at this next one. Oh my God, 885,000 raised so far. That is, that is nuts, y'all. Um, yeah, Trina Tamaka, I, I, yeah. This, this, is, this was gonna be a fun thing to watch, watching the donation numbers and, yeah. Wala, speechless ako. Okay, 27, 2018 season. So we got the Tony in 2018. We opened in December of 2017. Uh, oh yeah, 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 tama, because the run ended early, 20, early 2019. Cause that's the year I broke my leg, so yeah, I, I should I should just go backwards from from there. This next one is um, a special request, actually, from my ENT, my my doctor, um, Melfred Hernandez, and I know he's watching, and I know Arlene is also watching. Sabi niya pabate, so um, I'll answer your question later, sir, because um, I'm, I'm I also. <laughs> I'm seeing your I know. I'm just using an iPhone. Um, it's an it's an iPhone and it's it's propped up on a tripod on a Joby stand. I'll send you a photo of my setup and um, you can use that as as yeah. Okay, so this one is, is from Les Mis, but it's not it's not an either of the ones that um, I know Mark, I know I saw you. Um, it's not either of the songs that I sang in the show. This is this is a little. This is something I, I've never I've never sung this in public. I've only practiced it uh, in a sound check and rehearsed it here at home. Um, but but th this one is one of those. I have to kind of separate my mind from this. Um, but yeah, Melford asked me. He asked me first if I wanted to sing this, and then he would kind of share it. With, with other doctors, with other frontliners, as this was. This is kind of, it seems that it's a perfect prayer for an older doctor to make on behalf of the younger ones who are working in the ERs at this moment. I mean, I was in the hospital at the end of February, which is why there's gonna be stuff um, like on The Voice later on once we regain our airing schedule, because we're not airing right now. You're gonna see an empty chair um, in, you know, on screen because I was in the hospital with an IV stuck to me. And then just, and I was able to see some of that video and the jokes coming from Bamboo and Apple. So yeah, 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 you guys are stupid. Um, <laughs> I don't mean stupid, so nobody please get offended. Um, but this is, this is, um, but this is a song from Lee Miz and it's um, a request from Malfred and it's a prayer that seems most appropriate from an older doctor on behalf of a younger one, especially um, the younger ones who are currently on the front lines serving um, in ERs everywhere. And may this prayer be my prayer also for you that you will be safe after after this whole craziness is over all right so here we go
Okay. Um, let's bring him home from Les Miserables. And now I've gotten to sing it in public. I promised Claude Michel, Schoenberg, and Alain Boublil. Uh, first of all, thank you to the two French gents for saying yes, for being able to use that song for this, for Bayanihan um, Musikahan. And oh my gosh, we've raised over a million bucks, you guys. Uh, 1,072,777. Ha, ah, that's fantastic. Okay, um, and it's, it, ha. Ah. So yeah, so we have raised, well, the 5 p.m. total was over 22 million, so I guess now we're officially at 23 million, I guess. Uh, tech support, you can chime in. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy. That's, oh my gosh, that's amazing. That's amazing, you guys, thank you very, very much. Um, and so many families and so many frontliners are, are going to say thank you. Hi, Manch, hiya. I, uh, I, I know I'm, uh, I'm hundreds of meters away from you, but for some reason I can actually hear you. You're, you're just that loud and present, of course. So I actually have five minutes left. Um, I have one more song. Um, I started this hour with Ryan Kayabiab, and I'm ending with Ryan Kayabiab. And I actually... <laughs> wrote him to check if the lyrics were correct <laughs> and for, for both Naisko and for this. Um, and uh, we got 26,000 people watching. That's pretty cool. Thank you. Um, and so I asked him to make sure that everything was correct. And he sent back all his corrections and I made all my corrections. Um, and I actually, I actually recorded this song for his Silver album in the late 90s. And we did it in New York City. This was one of the songs I sang. The other one was Liman Di Pang Tao, um, which is also going to be fun to do for uh, the next one. So, so this one is actually one of my favorites from Smoky Mountain. The other favorite being Kailan. Which also, which Geneva Cruz should do a stream and she should sing that song. Um, yeah. So I thought to end this with, um, with this song, and I want to thank Cesar Aguas for a beautiful, beautiful guitar solo minus one. And um, I added backup vocals just because I started playing with Garage Band. I mean, I never have until then. So, wala lang. Pinaglaroan ko with permission uh, from from cheap. Um, yeah, so um, so I'm gonna end my stream with this song. And hey, Peter, and I just want to be able to say thanks again, Mr. C, and Trina Belamide for um, for asking me and for and asking so many Filipino artists to be a part of this. I, I don't think this effort is gonna be over um, anytime soon. I think we all have other artists that we'd like to invite to this. Um, so to those uh, Filipino American Broadway performers that might be watching this, um, I think you're gonna get an email from someone or a Facebook message asking to, Ex anong extend please? Do I look like Martin Rivera to you? <laughs> Joke. Um, he's been doing these streams every day, you know. Um, Carla, you're so OA. Um, let me see. Uh, let me see. But I have one more. And uh, yes, I'm going to end it after this song. But I promise I will do another one because this has been such a great... It's been great. I mean, for selfish reasons, it's been great. Um, I get to sing. I get to sing again in front of people. Well, in front of people. Um, so I get an outlet. I have my outlet, which is fantastic. Um, 
and in some way all of the artists that get to do these live streams for Bayani and Musikahan, we get to help and these live streams translate to donations. I'm like, uh, 1,262,000, oh, forget that, 66,000. And you, you guys are just amazing. Um, and yeah, my Sweeney family, Bum Bums, hi, I can see that you're here also. Ah, we need to drink, we need to drink. Yes, I need a nice to gin, love. Um, <laughs> yeah, the coffee hasn't left. Um, so, okay, I think I've introduced this song quite enough and it's, it's actually like 20 seconds to 11 o'clock. So, <laughs> yes, Mr. C, I will, I will make a joke at Martin's expense, any chance I get, but, you know, and I also promised him that I will sing that song that he's, he's asked me to sing and I'll sing it in the right circumstance. Um, and I've already alerted Gerard for the orchestration. Um, and you already made one for you, so I mean, you know, I think it's just a matter of transposing it and everything. Um, so yeah, I would like to end this night with the stylings of Cesar Aguas and um, with a song written by Ryan K. Biab. Here is Paraiso. Take me.